Welcome to Yogisa Yoga and its 30 minutes yoga routine that helps you to build the strength and confidence to be proud of your body. We begin in extended child's pose. Take deep breaths through the nose. I want to remember you that you already have a beautiful body that you should be proud of when you walk around the beach or anywhere else. This video is all about building the strength and confidence to do that. As a bonus, you will also tone and firm up your butt. Let's begin. Slowly lift the hips up and find downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs, bending one knee and then the other. Press the chest towards the thighs and find stillness. Lift the hips high and ground the heels down. Walk up to your hands into a fold. Breathe in and find halfway lift. Breathe out and bend forward and lift all the way up to mountain pose. Swan dive to forward fold. Breathe in and lift the hands overhead for chair pose. Breathe out and sit back with strong legs in Utkatasana. Place the weight on the heels. Relax the calves and let the strong hips carry the body weight. Keep the lower back straight and lift the heart. For prayer twist. Bring your hands together at heart center and twist to the right and hook your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh or knee. Lift in the chest and keep the hips low. Move the weight to the right foot. Carefully, step your left foot back into revolved crescent lunge. The right leg and the arm stays like before in prayer twist. Breathe in and reach both hands up and let the upper body come back to center in crescent lunge. Step forward to mountain pose. Swan dive to forward fold. It's time for the other side. Breathe in and find halfway lift. Bend forward. Breathe in and lift the hands overhead. Breathe out and sit back with strong legs in chair pose. Place the weight on the heels. Let the strong hips carry the body weight. Keep the lower back straight and lift the heart. Bring your hands together at heart center and twist to the left and hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh or knee. Lift in the chest and keep the hips low. Move the weight to the left. Carefully. Step your right foot back into revolved crescent lunge. The left leg and the arm stays like before in prayer twist. Breathe in and reach both hands up and let the upper body come back to center in crescent lunge. Step forward to mountain pose. Did you think it was hard or a little tricky? Now you have the chance to do the moves again, this time with more confidence and grace. Swan dive to forward fold. Breathe in and find halfway lift. Bend forward and then sit back with strong legs in Utkatasana. Keep the lower back straight and lift the heart. Bring your hands together at heart center and twist to the right. For prey twist. Lift in the chest and keep the hips low. Move the weight to the right foot. Carefully, step your left foot back into revolved crescent lunge. The right leg and the arm stays like before in prey twist. Breathe in and reach both hands up to come in to crescent lunge. Step forward to mountain pose. Swan dive to forward fold. It's time for the other side. Breathe in and find halfway lift. Bend forward. 
Lift the arms and sit back with strong legs in Utkatasana. Keep the lower back straight and lift the heart. Bring your hands together at heart center and twist to the left for prayer twist. Lift in the chest and keep the hips low. Move the weight to the left foot. Carefully, step your right foot back into revolved crescent lunge. Breathe in and reach both hands up and come in to crescent lunge. We will repeat this sequence one more time, flowing with one breath, one movement to build heat. Step forward to mountain pose. Swan dive to forward fold. Breathe in and find halfway lift. Exhale to bend forward. Breathe in and sit back in chair pose. Breathe out and twist to the right. Breathe out and step your left foot back. Breathe in and reach both hands up and come into crescent lunge. Step forward to mountain pose. Swan dive to forward fold. Breathe in and find halfway lift. Exhale and bend forward. Breathe in and sit back in chair pose. Breathe out and twist to the left. Breathe in and move the weight to the left foot. Breathe out and step your right foot back. Breathe in and reach both hands up and come into crescent lunge. Step forward to mountain pose. Swan dive to forward fold. Step back to downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs and stretch the glutes. It's time to prepare for the next mini sequence. Walk up to your hands. Breathe in and lift all the way up to mountain pose. Fold forward and step your right leg back. And lift your arms up in crescent lunge. Bring your hands together at heart center. Move the weight to the front leg and kick the back leg up in warrior three. Keep the body in a straight line like in plank pose. Lower the hands down to the mat for Shiva squats. Exhale and bend both knees. Tap the right knee to your left leg. Inhale, reach your right leg long. Exhale, squat down and tap. Follow your own breath and do about 8 or 10 Shiva squats. Move with control instead of tempo. That's more important. Good job. Reach your right leg long. Keep the left hand down and lift the right hand high and open up into half moon, backing both your hips and shoulders. Focus on opening up the hips and lift the heart. Mindfully transition to standing splits by lowering your right hand down to the mat. Lift the right leg as high as you can. Try to keep the hips squared in this pose. Carefully lower your right leg back down and lift your upper body to come into warrior one. Square your shoulders and hips to the top of your mat. Breathe deep with raised arms. Step your right leg up to your left. It's time for the other side. Breathe in mountain, breathe out and fold. Step your left leg back in crescent lunge. Lift your arms up and lower the shoulders. Bring your hands together at heart center. Move the weight to the front leg and kick the back leg up in warrior three. Keep the body in a straight line. Lower the hands down to the mat for Shiva squats. Exhale and bend both knees. Tap the left knee to your right leg. Inhale, reach your left leg long. Exhale, squat and tap. Inhale, reach. Follow your own breath and try to do as many as you did on the other side. Move with control. Breathe deep. Good job. Reach your left leg long. Keep your right hand down and lift the left leg high and open up into half moon, stacking both your hips and shoulders. Focus on opening up the hips and lift the heart. Mindfully transition to standing splits by lowering your left hand down to the mat. 
Lift the left leg as high as you can. Try to keep your hips squared in this pose. Carefully, lower your left leg back down and lift your upper body to come into warrior one. Square your shoulders and hips to the top of your mat. Breathe deep with raised arms. Step your left leg up to your right. We will repeat this sequence one more time. Breathe in mountain, breathe out and fold. Step your right leg back and lift your arms up in crescent lunge. Bring your hands together at heart center. Move the weight to the front leg and kick the back leg up in warrior three. Lower the hands down to the mat for shima squats. Exhale and bend both knees. Tap the right knee to the left leg. Inhale, reach your right leg long. Exhale, squat and tap. Inhale, reach. Follow your own breath. Try to do eight or ten shima squats. Move with control. Breathe deep. You can do it. Good job. Reach your right leg long. Keep your left hand down and lift the right hand high and open up into half moon, stacking both your hips and shoulders. Mindfully transition to standing splits by lowering your right hand down to the mat. Lift the right leg as high as you can. Try to keep the hips squared. Carefully, lower your right leg back down and lift the upper body to come into warrior one. Square your shoulders and hips to the top of your mat. Step your right leg up to your left. It's time for the other side. Breathe in mountain, breathe out and fold. Step your left leg back in crescent lunge. Bring hands together at heart center. Move the weight to the front leg and kick the back leg up in warrior three. Lower the hands down to the mat for shiva squats. Exhale and bend both knees. Tap the left knee to your right leg. Inhale, reach your left leg long. Exhale, squat and tap. Follow your own breath and try to do as many as you did on the other side. Move with control. Breathe deep. Inhale, reach. Keep your right hand down and lift the left hand high and open up into half moon. Focus on opening up the hips and lift the heart. Mindfully transition to standing splits by lowering your left hand down to the mat. Lift the left leg as high as you can. Try to keep your hips squared. Carefully, lower your left leg back down and lift your upper body to come into warrior one. Breathe deep with raised arms. Step your left leg up to your right. Forward fold and step back to down dog. Breathe in and lift the left leg high. Breathe out and step the left leg through. Bring the back heel down and rise in warrior one. Square your shoulders and hips to the top of your mat. Reach your arms overhead. Push the left hip back and pull the right hip forward. Engage the lower abs to pull the tailbone in and lift the upper body. Big inhale. As you exhale, open up into warrior two. Reach your arms front and back. Keep the shoulders relaxed, tuck the tailbone under and keep the core tight. Breathe in and straighten your left leg and move your left toes in 
Then sink down in guarded squat. Breathe in and straighten your legs. Exhale and sink down in guarded squat again. Breathe in to lift up. Get deep in your hips and keep the back straight. Follow your own breath. We will do 10 squats. Move with control. 3 more. 3 2 1 Straighten your legs and then come back into warrior 2 again. Keep the legs as they are and reach your left hand high in reverse warrior. Let your right hand just rest on the back leg. Breathe into the side stretch. Lower the hands to the mat and step out to a plank. Lower the knees. High to low plank, Chaturanga. Find upward facing dog. Lift the knees from the mat. Press the hips up and come into downward facing dog. Breathe in and lift the right leg high. Breathe out and step the right leg through. Spin the back heel down and rise in warrior one. Square your shoulders and hips to the top of the mat. Big inhale as you exhale. Open up into warrior two. Reach your arms front and back. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Tuck the tailbone under and keep the core tight. Breathe in and straighten your right leg and move your right toes in. Then sink down in garden squat. Breathe in and straighten your leg. Exhale and sink down in garden squat again. Breathe in to lift up. Hold your own breath. We will do 10 squats on this side as well. Get deep in your hips and keep the back straight. Move with control. Three more. Three. Two. One. Straighten your legs and then come down in warrior two again. Keep the legs as they are and reach your right hand high in reverse warrior. Let your left hand just rest on the back leg. Breathe into the side stretch. Lower the hands to the mat and step out to a plank. Lower the knee, high to low plank chaturanga. Find upward facing dog. Press the hips up and come into downward facing dog. We will do this sequence one more time. Breathe in and lift the left leg high. Breathe out and step the left leg through. Spin the back heel down and rise in warrior one. Square your shoulders and hips to the top of the mat. Big inhale, as you exhale, open up into warrior two. Reach your arms front and back, keep the shoulders relaxed. Tuck the tailbone under and keep the core tight. Breathe in and straighten your left leg and move your left toes in. Then sink down in goddess squat. Breathe in and straighten your legs. Exhale and sink down in goddess squat again. Follow your own breath. We will do five squats. Get deep in your hips. Straighten the legs and lower the upper body in a nice wide-legged forward bend. Place the hands on your waist and come back up. Use the strength from your core. Come down in warrior two. Keep the legs as they are and reach your left hand high in reverse warrior. Let your right hand just rest on the back leg. Breathe into the side stretch. Lower the hands to the mat and step out to a plank. Lower the knees. High to low plank Chaturanga. Find upward facing dog. Press the hips up and come into downward facing dog. Breathe in and lift the right leg high. Breathe out and step the right leg through. Spin the back heel down and rise in warrior one. Square your shoulders and hips to the top of your mat. Reach your arms overhead. Push the right hip back and pull the left hip forward. Engage the lower abs to pull the tailbone in and lift the upper body. Big inhale. As you exhale, open up into warrior two. Reach your arms front and back. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Tuck the tailbone under and keep the core tight. Breathe in and straighten your right leg. 
and move your right toes in. Then sink down in garden squat. Breathe in and straighten your legs. Exhale and sink down in garden squat again. Breathe in to lift up. Follow your own breath. We will do five squats. Move in control. Straighten the leg. Lower the upper body in a nice wide-legged forward bend. Place the hands on your waist and come back up. Use the strength from your core. Come down in warrior two. Keep the legs as they are and reach your right hand high in reverse warrior. Let your left hand just rest on the back leg. Breathe into the side stretch. Lower the hands to the mat and step out to a plank. Lower the knees, high to low plank chaturanga. Find upward facing dog. Lift the knees from the mat. Press the hips up and come into downward facing dog. Move the weight to the heels and walk the hands back to forward fold. Soften your knees. Curve onto your elbows and bob up and down and sway side to side to stretch out the back. Inhale and rise all the way up to mountain pose. Place your feet together. Lift your right leg up and put it down mat distance and do a squat. Move the right leg back to the left and squat down like in chair pose. Move the right leg back to the edge of your mat to do a wide legged squat again. Repeat until you've done 10 squats in both positions. This time keep the tempo to build heat and to get some cardio in today's practice. more on each leg position. You can do it. Shake it out. Place your feet together on the right side. Lift your left leg up and put it down mat distance and do the squat again. This time it is the left leg that moves back and forth. Repeat until you've done 10 squats in both positions. Squeeze your glutes, feel the burn. Breathe deep. Two more on each leg position. Keep on going. Shake it out. It's time for warrior three kicks. Step the right leg back. Bring your hands together at heart center. Move the weight to the front leg and kick the back leg up in warrior three. Keep the body in a straight line like in plank pose. Lower down with control. Kick up with strength. Kick the leg up ten times. Use the core to keep the balance. Squeeze your glute. Three more. Three. Two. One. Step the left leg back to switch legs. Move the weight to the front leg and kick the left leg up into warrior three. Ten times on this side as well. Kick up with strength. Lower down with control. Breathe deep. Three more. Three, two, one. Nice work. Shake it out and come down to the mat in extended child's pose. Breathe deep and relax to recover your strength after this hard workout. You should be proud of yourself and the way you did the exercises. Take this confidence and strength with you off the mat. 
come up to tabletop to stretch out the butt in pigeon pose. Bring your left knee to your left wrist and your left ankle towards your right wrist. Square the hips by pushing the right hip forward and the left hip back. Breathe deep into the hips and glutes. When you're ready, lower down and relax. If this pose doesn't feel good, stay lifted. Let go of all the tension in the hips and shoulders. Breathe deep. Slowly come up and place the leg back into tabletop position. It's time for pigeon pose on the other side. Bring your right knee to your right wrist and your right ankle towards your left wrist. Find a place where your hips can be squared and even. Breathe deep into the hips and glutes. When you're ready, lower down and relax. Rest your forehead on your hands and let go of all the tension in your whole body by breathing deep. Lift up and lay down on your mat and come into one final relaxing Shavasana. Breathe deep and lie in a comfortable position. Relax the whole body and let the hips melt into the mat. I'm so proud of you. Embrace the feeling in the whole body after this power yoga routine and look forward to the soreness tomorrow. Begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle out your fingers and toes. Pull the knees in, one at a time, and roll into a fetal position. When you're ready, use the top hand to press yourself into a seated position. Bring your hands together at heart center and thank yourself for your strong and beautiful body. And I thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. <laughs> now I'm ready for the beach. I hope you are too. Did you like this yoga sequence? Visit the Power Yoga playlist for more physical demanding routines that gives you a versatile and good workout. Do you want to focus on mobility in the lower body? Try your routine on the hip opening playlist to strengthen and stretch the hips. On the lower body playlist I have gathered all the yoga routines that train your butt, your legs, hamstrings and quads. Don't forget to give back by pressing the like button and comment down below what you thought about the video or what you'd like to see in the future. And the most important of all, make sure you subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell so you never miss a video. It helps me out a lot so that I'm able to keep on making free yoga content for you. Namaste.